Delivering innovation for over 34 years and backed by employees worldwide, Nortz and Asymtech's team of experts are ready to support your next adventure. Welcome to Kulik & Sofa here at IPC Apex. I'm delighted to be joined by Marco von Oosterhout, who is the uh, Director of Product Management. Yeah. Welcome, Marco. Hi, Trevor. Okay. Nice to be here. The third, so, the third day of the show. Third day of the show, that's yeah. right. The, the, the best day. Um, so we're standing here in front of your, your hybrid machine. Uh, and this is really, uh, it's quite an interesting concept because it's really a mixture of the technologies between Kulik and Sofa and of course Assemblyon. Uh, Assemblyon bringing the EMS side of it, you had they have the single pick, single place concept which can give you the increased accuracy. Uh, Tell us a little bit about this machine and, and, and uh, what you're using it for. Yeah, so this machine, it was indeed the, the pick and place, the single, the single robots that we had. Uh, what you saw in the industry is that the components are getting smaller and smaller. And this happened primarily and, and specifically the first adapters were the, the manufacturers that also made the system in a package. Yeah. Uh, which is basically as a mini PCB, I always tell to the... To the to, to my family, to the, to the mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. uh, where also the very small components are there going down to the O201 metric, which is basically 100 micron by 200 micron. You're actively placing O201 metric? Yes, we're actively placing them. We have designed a nozzle for it, and we can place it at full speed without, without any accuracy of speed loss. But then that's not all, because in a system, of a system in a package, also a die is needed, an active die, a bare die. Uh, some, some customers already tape it, then we just pick it up and we place it. But with Kulik and Sofa technology, we are also introducing the wafer feeder. Yeah. So this was uh, developed for another Kulik and Sofa product. Mm -hmm. But our engineers and the engineers, uh, the, the total combined engineering force, designed it into a small, smaller footprint. Mm -hmm. So we can also have the exchangeable wafer feeder now ready on this on this uh, this hybrid tree. Right. And right. making them the mix of the, the, the passive components and the die components. The die. So what sort of accuracy are you getting down to uh, with, with this system? Yeah, with this system, uh, we specified at 7 micron 3 sigma uh, accuracy. Okay. Uh, uh, we have done in our lab, we, uh, we reach down to 5 micron. Right. Well, that's extremely accurate, uh, for sure. Uh, so the, the, there was a, a, a previous system that did a wafer feeder before, but that was a, a fairly crude method, I'm sure, compared to this one. Yes. Uh, so uh, I'm sure you've... you've um, definitely modified it uh, uh, incredibly since then. Yes, yeah, for sure, because the, the nice thing was that the technology was already proven in the field by the, uh, by the APAMA technology of Kulik and Sofa. So we reused that technology, uh, feeders, can, feeders can be changed, exchanged, and we can do both uh, flip chip as direct, direct die attached with this machine. So mo most of the advanced packaging technology, SIP, etc., is, is done in Asia. Uh, is that really where the market is for this? Yeah, the, 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 the volume market is, I think, about 80-85% of the market is in Asia. But what we also see more and more is that the traditional SMT, uh, high-end SMT uh, manufacturers, also have an interest in this technology because they can, they can use their, actually their SMT processes also for this advanced packaging. So we have sold also a few of these machines to more what you, you would call the traditional SMT players. Well, miniaturization continues uh, yeah. getting smaller and smaller all the time, so obviously the accuracy is going to be required uh, and uh, they're, they're going to need this really high-end uh, yeah. level of SMT. Yeah, a very nice example is the iPhone. If you look at the iPhone three years ago, it had like 1684 different uh, uh, components. Yeah. If you open it up now, you don't, yeah, you count, you, it's not no more than one, one, eight, twenty, twenty, eight, one, sips it, yeah. eight sips, eight sips, a few smalls, total of 100 com uh, components in total. Right. But inside the SIP, there's a world, a world on its own. Yeah. Yeah, and that's where you come in. That's true. That's where we come in. <laughs> great. Well, Marco, it's it's great to see the machine, um, and uh, great to see the success that you're having with the, the combination of Kulik and Sofa, and of course Assembly on. Yes. Uh, so uh, long may it continue. Thank yeah. you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh.